Howdy. <laughs> hey, uh, welcome to uh, the James Victory Show uh, on uh, on Creative Live. Uh, today, I want to share with you. Um, first of all, I am not in my studio. I am at home. I am quarantined, like the rest of you, right? And the uh, the idea that I want to share with you is about uh, imperfection. Because in these COVID days, during this quarantine, I think one of the things, and you know, I talk about, I talk with uh, Laura, my wife, about this. I talk with um, um, you guys about this because I go, li I try to go live every day on Instagram and share and get your feelings and to see what's going on. And y'all are scared. <laughs> you all are like people are losing the income, people are losing um, um, their jobs. Um, there's a lot of fear out there, and um, if we can just kind of let go and be a little bit open to change and to what's happening in our lives and what's happening in our days and understand that if we don't come out of this changed, if we don't come out of this smarter, if we don't come out of this with um, um, renewed interest in our career, renewed interest in our relationships, then we're doing a bad job, right? And the, why we hold on to these things and why we let fear take hold is because we long for perfection. We had a plan. We had a plan and the plan doesn't work anymore, right? So I want to, through um, some basic tools that I enjoy using, show you how I try to invite perfection or the lack of perfection into my work. And I will also talk through with you about how it presents itself in my life. So there's a couple of basic tools that I want to go through. Um, I'll show you how I craft them. Um, I'll show you how they work. Um, I'll show you some examples of what I've done with them. Um, and uh, let's say, let's just get into it, eh, shall we? First of all, I want to really, really thank you for showing up. It means the world to me. Um, thank you, Creative Live. And my my good pal Chase Jarvis for 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 inviting me to this. Um, um, it makes being shut in um, a little bit more comfortable. <laughs> um, my uh, my uh, uh, wife Laura has been kind enough to take the, our two little kids. We have got two little ones. Take them um, out of the house for a while. So I've got some room to make a mess. And where I'm in, you should see this setup because it's crazy. If you look over here on the table. Um, that beautiful black background is actually just a big black paper bag it's taped down over um, over this exquisite dining room table that I made by hand that I do not want to fuck with. <laughs> I do not want India ink smeared all over my dining room table. So I'm not in the studio and we're just gonna make it up here. So um, the first thing I wanna do is I wanna talk about a, uh, a tool that I love and it comes in a number of different ways, right? And these are just paint pens. So you can get them where they're um, oil-based. You can get them where they're water-based. I like the oil-based because they get you high. They stink and they smell. Posca is a little bit cleaner, right? So there's a there's a um, the Uni Posca. Um, here's the Uni Paint and Crink. Crink is another awesome one. My preferred is just these big clumsy uh, Sharpies, right? So here's the funny thing. If I open these up and show you this nib, if you can see that, right? So the pen is shaped like um, it's got an angle on it, like a calligrapher pen. Everybody does that. And it's the weirdest thing in the world. Like it's freaking 2020, you know, the 1800s. We're not like scribes. No one's doing Gothic uh, calligraphy with these things kind of bizarre. So what I try to do is through any of the tools that I use, and I'll show you from a pencil all the way through to something like this, even, even in the computer, where I try to invite some level of risk, some level of danger, some level of imperfection, because I don't want to expect. I don't want to draw a line and know exactly what's going to come out of it, right? Um, what I find interesting is the accidents. What I find interesting is the smears. What I find interesting is the little hairs that show up in it. And I'll show you in this tool and on a couple of others. So the first thing I'd want to do with this 
this little perfect little chiseled tip is get the fuck rid of it, right? And there are a number of ways to do it. So one thing I like to do is with a razor blade is first just square that off. I just put it down on the table. Yeah, let me get this out of the way here. Put it down on the table and just cut it right off, right? And then what you have is a nice square tip. Or how about this? This is more interesting. Pop that sucker out and it's a beautiful little rounded tip. Put it back in and there you go. Now what you do with the razor blade is basically just start cutting it. Just start cutting it down, cutting it down. Take some time. Here, take it out. Take it out so you don't cut your fingers. Take it out, take it out, and just start chopping away, loosening that tip. I want it more like a brush than, than this, this, solid, this solid piece, right? So you just kind of just take your time, start cutting, 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 spinning it around, <clears throat> put it back in, right? And then in order to start to, to activate the ink and to get the ink up into the paint, up into the nib, you have to start shaking it, right? Um, you can hear it better with the, uh, the Posca, right? And it's funny because when I have when I have a when I have workshops and I introduce this 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 tool, I like to get videos of like a table of ten people all like all like shaking their pen. Pro tip: Don't do this without the cap on. Don't do this without the cap on. I know. I've done it. Not smart, okay? Um, the other thing is to get it going. Like here's the uh, here's a silver here's a silver pen that I have not uh, that I've not started yet. I'm gonna turn that around and I'll show you how it starts to get going. Let me uh, start shaking that. Silver stuff smells real good. Okay. The other thing that we got to do to start getting getting it going is this, right? There you go. Check that out. There, nice and wet, nice wet tool. There you go. So I have a I have a I have a a book out. Uh, it's 10 years old now. It's called Victoria Who Died and Made You Boss. The whole thing is black. All the pages are black, right? So um, the, my friend Paul Sayre, who helped, who, uh, who, who designed it with me, you know, he said, uh, he said black. I said, yes. He said, uh, he said black edges. I said, yes. He said Helvetica. I said, yes, right? So he designed this whole book. And I go to his studio and he starts, she shows me a mock-up and we're going through the book and all the pages are black. And I said, Paul, I have a problem. He says, he says, what? I said, well, all the pages are black. I said, I like to sign my work. He said, well, you know, you can use a silver pen. I said, I'm not going to learn a new tool just so I can sign my book, right? So um, what happened was I was, I was traveling on the, the, the book tour, and I'm in um, um, Colorado. I'm in Denver, like Mile High City, right? And these pens act differently at altitude. So I'm signing the book, and every time I sign the book, the ink's just like, any little bit of pressure, the ink just rushes out. So I sign the book to whomever it was, and I just close it, and I give it to him, and I say, your name is now Rorschach, because I just I can't control these pens anymore. So let me show you the kind of line. Here's a, here's a, here's a pen that I have, uh, um, here, let me show this. Here's a pen that I have gotten uh, let me see if I can figure out where that's supposed to go. Uh, where I've prepared the tip, and it's a little bit um, like a brush, right? You don't want to cut it too much so it's like a mop. You don't want to make it too messy. Or you do. Try it. Let's see. You know, what the hell? So um, what it is is the line, like, like I said, I don't want a line that I can expect. Let me see if this one, let me see what this one. This one is less... So you look at, see how that, see how uniform that line is? See how uniform it is? I don't want that. I want to invite the little hairs 
Here, let me uh, let me draw on this here too and show you. Ah, uh, here you go. Here's something I drew earlier. See, I want to invite all those little hairs to show up. I I think that stuff looks awesome. Right? So I think that stuff, I love, I love the, uh, all the little, all the little details in that, right? So if it's a real uniform line, it's a little bit less interesting for me. Um, this Posca pen, I have not started. The crank, I have not started. Um, let's see if we start not being precious about our tools and we start mixing them together. Let's see what that looks like. That's kind of cool. Look at that. That's kind of groovy. And you get these little these these little splashes. I don't know if you can see them. These little splashes. So you know when I when I when I take this work into the um, into the computer, what happens is I really try hard not to not to uh, to clean anything up, right? So when I scan this work in, I really am not interested in doing any cleaning whatsoever, right? And what happens is I find that the clients love that, that level of imperfection, that level of, oh my God, this just looks like there was somebody real made this, right? And what I'm trying to do is I'm not technically trying to, to, to make my lettering look different than other people's. That's not my game. Not, it doesn't interest me. But what I do find especially when I look at Instagram and I look at lettering sites, most of the stuff looks like, it looks like there's, there's, there's like a small team of uh, designers chained in a basement forced to make lettering that all looks alike. You know, y'all got to lighten up. Y'all got to stop making it look like what it's supposed to look like, right? Because that's really goddamn boring. What I'm trying to do here is I'm trying to add me. I'm just trying to have a voice. I'm just trying to, to, to discern my voice from the crowd. And what I do when I put this kind of work out in the world, what I'm doing is I'm trying to be attractive to a certain client who's going to enjoy that, who's going to, who's going to invite that, that level of risk, that level of danger, that level of imperfection, because that allows me to be me. Right. You know, and that's the thing is like people come to me. Um, I do a lot of um, um, coaching in in corporate workshops and also in one on one. Go to jamesvictoria.com. Check out the breakthrough sessions. Um, and people come to me asking about their voice. They're like, how do I find my voice? And I say, listen, it's not hiding. It's not you didn't leave it in the drawer. It's not under the chair. Right. It's not hiding. The thing about finding your voice is you have to allow your voice and you have to trust that you have something to say. You have to trust that your opinion matters. The things that you love and the things that you fear are important, right? So, and that's scary. And you have to trust that all the imperfections in your, in your handwriting, I'm left-handed, right? I, I don't, right-handed people pull a pen. I push a pen. I can't use a nib. I can't use a uh, um, one of those um, um, lettering nibs because it goes, it sticks. It goes ding, 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 ding along the page, right? I push a pen. And if you notice when I'm when I'm notice when I'm using this or when I'm using any of the other tools, I don't use it like I would a pencil, sideways. I actually kind of stand it up because I want that full force of the the whole tip, not just the edge, right? And what I'm trying to do is, like I said, not forcibly trying to be different, not trying to make anything particular. I'm trying to not expect. I'm trying to, I'm trying to allow accidents. I'm trying to allow some, some, some painterly qualities come through. This was made by a, a two-year-old. 
<laughs> two and a half year old is there's genius in that, right? So for me, it's much more interesting to to um, to kind of cut up a pen and allow it to um, to do what it does. Allow it to uh, here. Let's make some other lines. Oh, let me show you this too. So this is tracing paper, right? I like tracing paper. Um, this is just kind of white drawing paper. Bonk. This is just white drawing paper. So, so this, this line, this has, this paper has a little tooth to it, you know, um, a little texture to it. Again, I'm holding it kind of straight up. I'm not holding it. I'm not holding it like a pen on the side. Right? Um, now, here's something else I'm really interested in. That is the paper. Tracing paper has a whole nother quality because it's a lot smoother. So it's going to, uh, um, the ink is not going to seep into the paper as much. And you'll find that I write the word love a lot because I'm a, I'm a horny, hungry, loving guy. I'm a, I'm a big hugger. Um, but I'm going to show you this also. Let me see if I can find There it is. Check this out. So this is Duralar. This is, this is, um, this is, this is a clear, clear vellum. Look, it's going to, you're going to get, you're going to get messy. Uh, messy is wonderful. So here's this pen. Let's change this out for this. This is like ice skating. Right. This is really lovely. Check that out. Oh, so nice. Look at look at how that look at how that that just smoothly and look at all those little imperfections. Look how lovely that is. Right. So you start scanning that stuff in. Look at that. You know, the blacks are nice and thick and black. And you start getting you start getting all these little details. And even even that, I won't even clean that up because I, I love that. And the little hairs, that's what I was talking about. That's what I'm talking about over there. That's what I'm talking about. All the hairs, right? And like I said, it's clear vellum. So that's even that is lovely. So it's clear vellum. Um, and again, uh, scanning it in is real straightforward. Do not clean it up. Um, you can scan it in as um, as line or tone. It's just going to take practice figuring it out and what you were possible of. And what happens, what's really nice is when you start blowing that up here, Adam, let's cut to the other screen. When you start blowing that up, you get things like this, right? So this is this, uh, this poster that I made based on, um, uh, this idea from, um, from my book called the things that made you weird as a kid make you great today. Right? So this is all done with these pens. This is this this is this is a this is a um, a, a smaller bit than this. This is exactly this this exact pen made this line. This word weird, um, and even the stuff underneath, even the the, the 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 scribbles in white underneath, were all made all made with this pen, right? Um, and listen, here you go. So I say this word weird, right? People sometimes will look at that poster and they say, what's that? What, what is that, what that, that word? And you know what? Those are not my people. They're not my people. I don't fucking care. <laughs> you can't read what I wrote. I get this all the time. Let's switch to this other screen, Adam. Let me show this, show this. I get this, um, I get this all the time. I've got this, this uh, G that I love. That's, that's my G, right? I get clients all the time saying, I can't read. That um, where it's where the word says God, I can't read. I'm like, wait, what word? You mean the God? You mean you one you just read? So I don't I that when that stuff happens, and you guys, you know, when I'm in a coaching situation or when I'm talking live on Skype and we're having a conversation, you guys are always saying, but I have a client who blah 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 complain 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 complain, and I have to say, listen, you said you you have a client. No, you don't have a client. That is not your client. That is a pain in the ass client. That is someone else's client. And this is the amount of imperfection that you that you have to invite into your life. You know, you are not 
a, a universal puzzle piece that fits in every, you know, designers are like, I got out of school, I got a degree, I'm, I'm super stoked, I'm ready. And then they just want, they just want a job. They just want to jump into a position, not knowing that they are not made. It's relationships. They're not made to work with everybody, right? You've got to allow that into your life. And when you do that, when you open up like that, and when I open up and allow this somewhat of a mess in my work, the universe attracts the right clients to me. Like I don't have those conversations with clients. And if I do, I fire their ass, right? So I wanna show you one other thing. Let me show you something else here. There's another tool that I love using and it is this. Where are you, Adam? There you go, it's this, right? So this is a, this is a, um, a, a Sumi brush, right? And it comes, dink, 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 right? Any art store, you don't have to buy an expensive one. Cheap ones are great. Um, and it comes hard like this. And you don't ever do this. Don't you get, get your oils all over your, all over the brush. It comes hard like this because it has basically starch or glue in it. So what you need to do is get a glass of water and sit and blah, blah, dab, 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 dab. When I was back in Brooklyn, I used to love to go uh, go to the go to the uh, go shopping at the art store, and then I'd go straight back to uh, the little bar around the corner from me, and I'd order a big glass of wine and a hamburger, and I'd order um, um, a small glass of water, and I would just take my new Sumi brushes and just like dab 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 dab, you know, roll it, roll it along the edge, right, slowly, slowly, slowly cleaning it out, and this is the way you clean it later too. But to get all that starch out of it, so it starts feeling a little bit like this. So you can see this one, it still needs a little cleaning. It's still a little clumped together, right? And what you're going to do is you're eventually going to get to this. Oh, super soft. So soft and subtle, this brush. I love it, right? And don't wipe it on your face because you get oils all over it, you know. Um, this particular brush, you can see I've used it to stir paint. <laughs> I'm a, I'm a bitch with my tools. I just use them, man. I fucking use them. Um, this, this brush has been, this brush used to be much thicker, but because of all the, all the, all the, all the cleaning that I've done with it, you know, the hairs, the hairs start falling out. It happens sometimes. Um, I have made this and a pot of ink, uh, well over a hundred thousand dollars worth of work with this brush, right? Um, so here's how it goes here. Let's go to the other camera. So you don't need a ton of ink in your pot. And here I'm just using a nice glass have a, have a nice, a nice, a nice, uh, a nice glass of wine. Um, you don't need a lot of, a lot of ink, right? So here I am just here. Let me go to the other camera and see, you can see what's going on. So. I'm, I'm, I'm rolling it on the outside here to get some of the ink out because this thing will hold, look at that. See how sharp that thing got? This thing will hold a lot of ink and get super sharp, right? So I'm just rolling it and rolling it and rolling it. Here, let's go to the other camera and I'll show you what I can do. So the nice thing about this brush, how you guys doing out there? You with me? You hanging out? I can't hear you. I can't hear you. I hate that. So the nice thing is this, this brush will make a super fine line for you, right? It will also, what it's also capable of is making this super fine line and then turning it into that, right? Isn't that sexy? That is some sexy shit. And now here's what I said. I am pushing this brush. So I'm getting another level of imperfection that I that I have had to accept in my life because I'm left-handed, right? So you, if you're right-handed, you get, you know, this, this, the, uh, I don't know, I don't know, but you get something like this, I don't know. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not right-handed. Um, here, let's, let me, uh, let me switch over. Let's switch over and let's show that on that same amount that same line on uh, tracing paper. Here, let's do this. Um, 
a caught the happy virus. I caught the happy virus. All right. That's, um, is that Rumi? That's Rumi. I caught the happy virus last night, walking under the stars. It is remarkably contagious. It is remarkably contagious. So, kiss me. Beautiful. Bang. And that's on Trace. Let's switch over to, uh, let's switch over and use the Clear Vellum. Now Clear Vellum with Sumi ink and these brushes is spectacular. And then when you, so this is a relatively, this is a, this is a pretty fine brush. You can imagine getting into this guy, right? Um, actually that one, I'll, I'll, I'll get, I'll get this guy wet too. Um, and I even have some brushes that are like as big as your hand, right? And those are fantastic. Although you need a big piece of paper because they hold a lot of ink, right? So let's see this. Uh, let's say, uh, see, now this, look at that. Oh, this, this, um, this vellum, Look at that, that's actually kind of awesome. But what's happening is the vellum is rejecting the ink. It's not sticking. Watch, it just beads up on there. That's pretty freaking cool. Except you gotta, you, gotta, you gotta catch that shit and it'll go away. Okay, vellum, the hell with you. I don't wanna work with you either. Go to hell. So um, here, let me show you this other, this other big ass brush. Now the thing is cleaning these things you gotta go, you gotta go dab, 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 dab. Look at all that ink that's in there. Look at that. Look at that. That is beautiful. That is beautiful. There, watch this. Look at that. This this thing is literally drinking this cup of of all the of all the uh the ink. I don't even know if I'll get enough ink in there to get this thing sharp. Oh, there it is. Beep. Lost a hair. Happy birthday, brush. See, look at that. Oh, I was doing a job for somebody, a guy recently, uh, a new a new agency. COVID happened and this thing got slowed down. My life got slowed down. Uh, they're still bugging me about it. But I was doing a job and the company was called uh, uh, Judas and the, the logo looked a little bit like this. That's kind of groovy. That's kind of groovy. I like that. So that is these uh, Sumi brushes, right? These are super, super cool uh, tools. But look how much, even this, like when they start getting really dry, that's really lovely. Now, that I'm going to save because that's some sexy stuff. I can use this for something. I've got drawers of just these kind of these washes of, of ink. Check that out. That is really nice. Can you see that? It gets a little bit, it's a little bit wet looking because it's on vellum. Uh, there's a couple of other little tools that I want to share with you while we're here. Right while I've got your uh, while I got your ear in your eyeball, um, those and those. So there is there is one tool that I've used a bunch of times that I think is very groovy. Let me see if I can find my book here. So um, Adam, we're going to switch to this other screen here. So there's a there's a tool like here. You can see this is this is this is paint pen. That's the big clumsy pen. All beginnings are hard. Um, this is finger paint. 
I'm not afraid of nothing. Here's finger paint as well. There's some finger paint as well. Pop-up generation. And of course, as a book designer, I'm crazy because it says pop-up generation, but it says uh, generation was too long. So I just added the, um, I just added uh, duration <laughs> right here. Um, but uh, let me see. So there's, uh, yeah, here's, Here's a here's because I wanna, and you know because I wanna is basically the only reason you ever need. Like when I choose to add this to my work, when I choose to 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 relax and invite this level of risk and danger into my into my life and into my work, it's because I wanna. That's it. I don't need another re reason. I don't need permission. I don't need to be asked. Listen, I've I've once I've once in my beautiful career had a client who who has has up the ante for me, who I send great work, and they're like, "Don't you have more?" I'm like, "Oh my god, I've never felt more insecure in my life." So here's one other tool I want to show you, and I'll show you how it looks uh, if I can find uh, the page. Hold well, on, the one a second, it's here. Oh, by the way, if you don't have Tech reflection. Your education is sorely lacking. Oh, here it is. So that typography is made by, oh, there we go, there we go. Fat, dumb, poor, and ugly. That typography is made by a really, really great tool that I that I that I love. Whiteout. It's a whiteout pen, right? So just a whiteout pen. Um, I sometimes use just regular, uh, a regular whiteout. You know, just the kind with the the where you, where you unscrew it. It's got a little triangular. Um, it was here on the table. A little triangular uh, sponge. And the reason I invite that is because it you really cannot control it, right? It will just do what it wants, and you have to be cool about that just like your life, right? Just like in these COVID days, you had a plan. I had a plan. I was cruising. I, I came into this year cruising. I had up to June, July, August planned out financially. And it was me traveling or people traveling to me to get paid. It's all gone, right? So my plan and my money went. I need to understand that I cannot be in love with the plan. I cannot be in love with perfection. I do not want perfection in my life. I'm, I'm supposed to be more flexible than that. I'm supposed to have a more nimble life than that. I'm supposed to trust myself and know that I will have the answers when I need them, right? So this is how it works when, it's, when it's, you're applying it to your life. Um, and... Uh, let me show you how this little sucker um, works as well while we're talking about these crazy ideas. So let's see how this works. And this is a funny thing because you have to you have to uh, squeeze it. So there's this quality to this line that I really like, where it has um, little inlines in it, little, uh, like in that word caught, if you can see that. I'm, that stuff is very groovy to me. Um, I use it a lot. I used it a number of times in, uh, in Feck Perfection. So again, here's the, uh, there's the, the, the big paint pen. Um, Oh, here's another pen that I want to show you. Uh, this is paint pen uh, on a skateboard, on a nice skateboard deck. It says creativity is dangerous. Um, this is paint pen over. This is paint pen and 
Um, whiteout. You can see whiteout where it says beware. So it says beware flaccid platitudes over stock photography. Uh, let me see. There's one other place in here where I have uh, where I have the uh, we put there. So that's basically a sumi brush um, splotch like I made before, and then I drew over it with colored pencils and uh, the uh, the the whiteout pen. And the idea here is to uh, to learn to say no. Powerful tool. Powerful tool. Learn to say no. So here, let's go back to this guy. This nice piece here. Let's see if we can draw on that. Oh, there's the other one. There's the other. There's the other. Uh, the other whiteout. Let's see what this this guy looks like. Let's see what this one does. Oh, so nice. Bonk. So good. You know, I know, I know dollars to fucking donuts. There are people out there going, well, you know, James, that's kind of ugly. That's the point. <laughs> here, come over, get this camera here. That's the point. That's the point. I don't know the difference between ugly and beautiful. I don't care. Because whatever most people think of as looks like beautiful, it looks like Hallmark. <laughs> it looks like a Hallmark lettering. And it bores me to tears. Um, um, hang on. I am going to grab a piece of art that I did that's hanging up, that I, that I look across the room and I see it hanging there. I'm going to grab that and show it to you. Hold on one second. Play some, uh, play some music or something there, uh, Adam. So check this out. Here, I'm back. So with um, with the uh, the big sumi brushes, I worked with a, uh, a ceramicist uh, a bunch of years ago and made a number of oversized um, serving platters, big ass platters, right? Heavy, heavy, heavy pieces. Um, and I did them all in typography and it was really lovely work. Um, look how big this stuff is. Uh, so here, I'm going to put this down under the camera and we can take a look at this. Look at the lettering in that. See? I don't care what's beautiful. I don't care what's ugly. Look at this. Look at these beautiful details in this thing. This, to me, is less about typography and less about lettering and more about, about humanity, about expressing something real about yourself, right? About authenticity and vulnerability. You know, this is much more, you know, uh, 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 me trying to introduce love into my work, trying to introduce um, my own my own fears and my own aspirations. Right? I'm not interested in lettering, really. You know, most people it's like they'll. What happens is 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 you'll 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 start a sketch. You know, and then you'll refine it a little bit and then you'll get in there and you bring it to the computer and you start drawing all these little vector lines around it and start, kill me now. Go back to the sketch. Go back to the sketch. Do that. Do that because that's you. That's you. That's authentic. That's interesting. Because all you're doing when you're cleaning it up is making it look like everybody else's work. You're introducing safety. You're introducing comfort. You're introducing people pleasing. And you get slowly weeded out of the process. So you don't even know who you are anymore, right? So here's this beautiful piece that I'm gonna put away. Okay. <sighs> Let me see. There's a uh, got another. Oh, he here. I wanted to. Uh, I wanted to mess with this this piece here, and see um, see how this works on it. Yeah, it's looking good. Beautiful. Now check that out. 
check that out. That's pretty sweet. And I love you. Which is true. It's true. I got to admit. I love you. You people are awesome. Okay. Let me go back to this other triangular whiteout and see what we can do with this, because this is a very groovy tool here. And you can see it's just this 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 junky this junky little triangle here tickling me there. Okay. Now here's the thing, like I am um I'm left-handed, so I basically, my hand drags through my work, always has. High school, I used to get in trouble for it. You know, you're working with a blue big pen, and it just gets all over your hands. I mean, I've always, I'm always a mess when I'm working. It's fine. You know, we, we, we prepare for that. We wear, we wear you know, uh, our, our, our least favorite $250 jean shirts, right? <laughs> you know, here's, a, here's something that's interesting where, I love Helvetica, and Helvetica is perfect. I mean, as a typeface, it's kind of what we consider, it's like banks use it, it's perfect, right? And what I want to do with it is make it less perfect by just painting right over it, right? With anything I do, I want to add that level of imperfection because what it does for the average person is it makes them say, what? what? Why, why would you do that? Why would you do that, right? Because, again, I'm trying to introduce some authenticity. I'm trying to introduce some level of vulnerability. I'm trying to divulge the fact that I'm a human being and I make mistakes and I have flaws and we all do. But the point is to love that, to love that about ourselves, right? Our own imperfections, our, our, our loss and our grief, these are important. These are important tools, and we have to direct them into our work, not clean them up in Photoshop, not, not vectorize them to, and then squeeze the life out of them. Because I believe that there's an audience out there dying for real human contact, dying to see words and images put out um, by a real human being, right? Now, hold on a second. Uh, this section uh, brought to you by Smokey Moe's Barbecue. Smokey Moe's. Blah. Okay. So, here, let me show you this here. This is a catalog cover um, I did a couple years ago. Here we can show it. On the, we can show it on the tabletop here. Uh, catalog cover by a for a friend of mine, uh, um, Hyatt Denim Company. Um, where it says, your work is a gift. This is a radical idea. This is because it changes how you think about your work. It changes why you work, what you make, and even who you work for. When your work is a gift, your goal is no longer to satisfy a boss or a client, or even to gain a paycheck. You now work to make yourself happy, and in turn, speak directly to your audience because you now give them something of value, a piece of yourself, okay? And the way this was done was just with a simple pencil, you know? Just with a simple pencil, it was drawn on tracing paper, right? So it was drawn on tracing paper, so you get a lot of, even in the scan, you get a lot of imperfection. Um, even you get things like this, but you have to be able to trust that people are going to be able to read that. People are going to be able to, be able to understand that. I trust my audience. I trust human beings that they will do the work. And I trust that I am giving them something of quality to read, right? So this is just me with a with with a pencil trying to trying to do the right thing trying to trying to follow whatever spencerian rules there are about making the uh, g's and o's and r's and and making these letters but at the same time i don't give a damn at the same time it's much more interesting for me just to play you know here let's go to the other camera i mean and that's the thing that's what it comes down to is i want to to play 
I know that the play is where my work is going to thrive. Because if I'm not playing, I don't know what I'm doing. Because nobody wants to look at work, right? People want to see who you are in your work. That's what we, that's what we, we respond to, right? So if I can allow myself to play, that's where the quality is going to come from. Um, let's see. Uh, I've got another tool I want to share with you. Let's get rid of that. Speaking of playing, where is that? Here we go. So here, let's go right here. So here's another tool. And this, this is, um, these are these little goofy pencils that actually have uh, uh, a number of different colors in them. Right. This is just another childish finger painting style uh, tool. Um, the way that you sharpen these is not because it's just too big for a for a pencil sharpener. Is that you basically whittle them, whittle them down uh, with a with a, with a blade, right? And and set free all that color that's in there, and it leaves. A beautiful mark. Let's see if we can get this, uh, how this works on camera. Okay, let me see. I'm going to tear that off. And we can take a look at that. Take a look at that. There's some sexy stuff there. All kinds of colors, all kinds of life in there, right? Um, in uh, in the in my book, we have there's one piece in here that is a uh, one of my favorite uh, poets. Here, let's show this, right? It's this. Uh, so it's, this is made with this is made with the, with that pen, that same exact pencil. Um, this is one color, and then there's another color of pencil here. And it basically says, "Habits are human nature. Why not create some that will mint gold?" Right. This is a, a poet Hafiz. Um, and what he's saying is, is habits are human nature. We create habits every day. It's just a natural thing. So why not create some that will that will start you on a new beautiful path? And this is this brings us to today. This brings us to the COVID days. It brings us to the quarantine. So why not during this time take the time to not um, to not live in fear and get get become become tight and and you know the first thing that happens when we have when we when we when we uh, experience fear is we. <laughs> We stop breathing. So everybody with me, everybody. Take a deep breath. Right? Get all that out of your out of your lungs. Relax. And try to invite new habits, new practices, some that will mint gold. Now is the opportunity. You've been given a gift. You know, this quarantine, if you can wrap your head around it the right way, it's a gift. If you can't, you're in prison. If you can't, it's pain and suffering, right? And that's because you are too bound to perfection because your previous life is gone. Now you're lost, right? So take the time to invite some new tools, to invite play, to invite love into your work. Right. I see that my 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 wife and my kids are are going to be coming in the door. The room is going to be filled with life and love. Right. Um, listen. So I showed you a couple new tools. Um, I invite you to uh, my Instagram is just at James Victory. And this is where I play. This is where I play with um, um, new writing. And I tell you where uh, all my new practices are, where I play with new tools and make the things I make the things I like to make. Um, uh, so please go to my Instagram page and also go to jamesvictoria.com. Um, there's one more piece of lettering that I think I I think I, I think I, I shared with you earlier, and that this is just 
that is, again, that is that the big, huge pen followed up by just a ballpoint pen that I like using. And the two of them are great. And what I'd like you to do is kind of start inviting, look at that even, is kind of invite this play into your work, right? I want to use crude tools. I want to use the tools that my kids bring. I want to, I'm, I'm, I'm working with, 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 with um, uh, magic markers now and crayons now to invite some new life and new levity and new, new substance to my work, right? And it's my job here to let you allow this into your life, allow some play, allow some life, right? So I'm James Victory. Listen, you guys have been so kind and so generous to be here and stick with me through these things. Wash your hands. Hold your loved ones dear. Um, this is going to be a beautiful experience for you. I don't know how long it's going to last, but you have time to, to, to reflect. You have time to invite newness and life into your work. Um, I love you, and uh, I wish you well. Um, I'm James Vittori, and I'm going to say see you later. Bye-bye.